Hello world. So in this tutorial, we're just going to jump right into using Swift 3 um, to do some API calls with the particle SDK. So I've already, I'm going to assume that you guys have already gone ahead and went through the bridging header and CocoaPods installation. So let's just go right into the storyboard. And in the storyboard, I'll start by creating a login screen here. So I'll give it a text field and I'll make sure that I get some auto constraints. Um, putting it in the center or centering it rather. Uh, sorry, I said my mistake right there. I said text field. What I want is a label, and I'll drag that label to the center over here, and the label will just say particle login. Okay, cool. And if I drag that in the center again, I'll get those auto constraints. And then I'll want to go ahead and get some text fields. This is where we'll have them. And drag them into the application, center it, and I'll make it long enough so we get a good length of text to be able to input. And if I uh, press Command D at the same time, then I'll go ahead and duplicate that element. I'll drag it down a little bit, and likewise, I'll put Command D to duplicate this element. So I need another label, and rather than searching for it here and then dragging and dropping it, I can just go ahead and start um, you know, manipulating this element instead. So I'll put email and then I'll change the text in here to say password. And now what you can do to this field, since it is a password field, we'll want to go ahead and secure text entry. So I'll show you what that's going to look like in just a second. Before we launch the application, however, what I will want to do is change the background color so I can see uh, the text fields in the app. So I will so make sure I have the view controller selected right here and I'll get the background and change it to, I don't know, aluminum. And we'll go ahead and hit Command R at the same time to build and launch the application. Similarly, I could have pushed the play button or that little play symbol there. And it's going to launch it in an iPhone 7 Plus simulator. And there we go. You know what I didn't add was a button. And let's do that real quick before having too much fun. And it's just going to say login. Sweet. And make sure we get that auto constraint in. And then I'll hit Command R again. Make sure that the application is building and then launching. And here's the application. Now, remember when we selected this? Secure text entry field. Let's see what it does in action. Now, when I'm inputting something, you see it's more like a password. So, delete everything there. Let's go back to the app. Now, let's go in the assistant editor and we'll start connecting those elements in the view controller to the view controller Coco Touch class file over here. And um, we'll get rid of everything because I have limited real estate space. So, I'll toggle those panes away. And I'll start by dragging and dropping these text fields into the application and I'll name them something descriptive like email login text field, right? Connect. Something just descriptive so you know what it is when you're looking back at it. And you could put over here password login text field, connect, just default, you want to make sure it's an outlet, and we'll be able to reference those values, which is pretty cool. Now with this login button, this is going to be an action, so I'll make sure I make it an action, and I'll say login to particle server button, sweet, and then we'll connect it, and just to make sure the button's doing what we want it to do, we'll start by printing a little statement that says... Um, fish with one eye freak me out. I don't know, man. And then put uh, press command R and you'll build and run the application again. And I just want to make sure that that login button is working. And I'll show you what the IB action actually does. So pretty much this little chunk of code is literally saying when I press this button, 
do this action and in this case we're just going to print something to the console so let's press the button and you say fish with one eye freak me out and they kind of do I've never actually seen that but anyways we'll go ahead and now we'll insert some API calls to the particle server so, so I already have gone to the particle reference so you can go to this URL docs.particle.io and you can go to the iOS SDK reference now if you just see what I'm, I've done this a few times already but what I just do is um, I'll just initiate a search field and then I'll do something like what I'm looking for so I want to log in so I just literally type log in and Swift is this what I want so let's do this one right here just copy because this is the Swift code it's what we're using and I will just literally paste okay cool and now we can actually get out of the assistant editor since we have um, assigned, uh, attached all these elements to this little uh, file over here so now we can give them like programming so I'll get out and to toggle that pane again and I'll go into the view controller.swift file now in here where I say log in with username right here we don't want to log in with um, this string rather I'll create a couple of variables and I'll make them constant so let username equal sorry my back's hurting a little bit guys so let username equal um, or email we'll just say email equal and then this variable right here so we'll do or that label so email login text field dot text and then we'll do the same thing down here let password equal password login text field dot text and now if I delete these strings over here and I substitute them for these variables that I just created or rather constants um, then I will be able to use the value so email and then you have to pass in a question mark so you unwrap it and it's um, you know you don't want your application to crash if people don't enter in a value so that's why you put a question mark because the question mark means hey it could be null or rather nil in Swift password I will make this password and I'm pretty sure you have to unwrap it I don't know why it's giving me some errors but I always follow Swift whatever it says do you mean password? Sure, but no, I don't. That's ugly. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And let's abide by any of its rules. Yes. Yes. Okay, I just want to run this for now. So pretty much what this is saying is, okay, look, I'm actually going to log into the particle server right now. And, yo, I'm going to use this email variable and this email variable is again here I'll open up the assistant editor and we'll go watch this so when you open up the assistant editor and you go to the main storyboard and you click the view bam like this watch and I'm opening up the assistant editor it's gonna bring up whatever um, dot swift file is associated with it and more on that later but rather now let's look at this code and talk it through and then we'll launch it so we're saying right here boom I've connected this field over here to the email login text field and I've connected this field over here to password login text field I'm actually getting their value and assigning it to these two constant variables called email and password and I'm gonna log into the particle uh, server and when I do I'm using whatever values I'm typing here if it's correct then I'll say logged in if it's incorrect credentials then it'll say wrong credentials or no internet connectivity. Now let's run the application. And it's building and here we go. I'm excited. Are you guys? I don't even know this password to be honest. log in so it's saying user credentials are invalid so that's a good thing right 
guys, I swear, I don't think I even know my own password. But that's telling you that this is uh, working in the first place, which is kind of crazy. So when I finally do enter in the creden uh, correct credentials, you can see that I get the logged in. So um, this is just the first tutorial in the series. I'm going to try to do one of these um, you know, pretty frequently. I'm going to try to go for every night for the next couple weeks. Let's see what happens.